Good morning guys. So I took the kids to school and I am now home. Normally I am dressed. I am ready for my day. Mondays usually start off good. <laughs> this morning though I am exhausted. I got nothing done yesterday. Um, yesterday there was a birthday party that we had to go to so I didn't get to do my usual like restart for the week which is on my Sundays and that's when you know I get the house completely reset and I you know lay out the clothes and you know I have everything in my mind of how Monday is going to go I, I do all of the things that I need to get ready for the week on Sunday well because of the birthday party I did not get to get that done <sighs> so that means Monday is now my reset day so I'm completely thrown off I don't know about you guys but if like my routine is thrown off it I just feel I don't know, like out of it and not like as put together as I am. That's why Sundays are like usually my dedicated stay home, reset, you know, plan out my whole week, make sure I know what's going on that week, get it together <laughs> kind of day. And unfortunately it didn't happen yesterday because I took Ethan to a birthday party and we stayed there longer than I anticipated. And, um, it's okay because you know, that's his friends and I know the mom's there and it's fine. Um, but it, it definitely just threw me off. I'm covered in bug bites because it was outside and I didn't think to put on bug spray um, before we went out there. So, you yeah, know, it is what it is. I am trying to talk quietly because Aaron is sleeping. Um, <sighs> he's been working a lot. He's been taking shifts for other people that have needed to, you know, go to things for their kids or have been feeling sick. So he's been working more than he typically would um, for a couple of months now so he's pretty exhausted so I'm trying to let him him rest and not talk too loud because he's got to get up here in about an hour to go um, get an oil change on one of the cars. That's almost on his way home. This is why I like to get my week reset on Sundays because I feel like I just don't have enough time to plan my week out on Mondays Ugh, so I feel like I'm gonna be behind all week but that's okay. So I've got my coupons taken care of. I have put aside the coupons that expired to send off and then I clipped together the ones that I know I'm not going to use this week that do expire um, and I will drop those off if I happen to be near the product. I also pulled out coupons that I want to check um, prices at Walmart for because there's no awesome sales at any of the typical stores I shop at and these expire this week. So if Walmart has a decent deal with my coupon. I'll get them at Walmart. If not, I'm just going to leave them for somebody else because I'm really happy to say I have my two shelves stocked of laundry soap. So now the only reason I'm going to buy laundry soap is if there is an amazing deal on laundry soap, meaning $2 or less <laughs> out of pocket for those. But Seth is going to be home in about 15 minutes. So I need to go grab myself a really fast shower and then I'm going to start cleaning up. Okay, I'm going to take a minute to just stop and say this before my day gets crazy and I forget, not because I'm not appreciative, but because that's how my life is. I get on a roll and it's just, the ball does not stop until it's bedtime, basically. So Seth is out there having his lunch after school. I'm going to go out there with him in just a minute, put on my makeup, put in my contacts, all that fun jazz. But I just wanted to stop for a minute and say thank you guys so very much from the bottom part of my heart for 10,000 subscribers. This is something that I never thought I would see. And this past year has been crazy. My channel has taken off and I have you guys to thank for that. You guys for sharing, for staying, for watching, for commenting, for just being here whenever you joined on, whether you're new, you're old, you're only here for certain videos you're here for every video every single one of you I appreciate and I cannot thank you guys enough for that like you you have no idea how appreciative I am of every single one of you because this is a goal that I never thought would be possible and here it is <laughs> we've made it hi booga booga what up hey where's dad I'm talking to the camera Dad, Mom. Oh, where's Dad? He went to get an oil change. He'll be back later. Mommy? Hmm? The baby 
feed them, honey. Oh, well, you better feed them. I don't have babies. Those are your babies. You... Actually, they gave us to them. Well, <laughs> they gave them to you. I am not having any more babies. Oh, so I guess those are your babies. Actually, actually, I don't have my baby card anymore. Oh, you don't want the baby card either. <laughs> I don't have that. Baby. Oh well, then you better give them back to their mommy and daddies then. Today, you're forever. Oh, they're gonna stay here forever. Then you're gonna take care of them, cause. Like I said, mommy is done with that chapter. That book is closed, sealed, and sent off. We're done. Wait, it's not I... getting rewrote. We're done. <laughs> you wrote a book about babies? <laughs> no, honey. Uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to stop and say thank you so much for that. And I need to get ready to go. But I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys a little bit because haven't been very many day in the life videos because uh, some some things have kind of changed in my real life situation so most of you know that i've been really good about keeping youtube a secret and only important people in my life have known about it so my family my very 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 close friends and my employers that's it um, the people i've worked with the people my kids go to school with the people that teach my kids my neighbors they never really found out about this and over time over the past few months i've started to notice more and more people that are friends of friends or friends of people acquaintances um have started to follow my instagram and and i was hoping <laughs> wishful thinking i think on my part uh that two and two wouldn't happen and they wouldn't find out about YouTube. Well, this morning I found out that more people than I realized <laughs> who are closer to me, neighbors, kids that go to school with my kids, teachers that teach my kids have found out about this channel. And because of that, I feel like I've had to like take a step back and censor myself a little bit and process all of this before I can, you know, figure out how to go about this situation now that people in my real life know about this. Um, my biggest concern is that what I do or say is going to affect my children and that is always like my number one. So uh, it's been very interesting to try to figure out how I can still share everything that I want to share with you guys without it affecting my kids. So that's why there's been a lot of hauls lately. Um, just because I... <laughs> I've had to build myself back up to do this and I'm still trying to figure out how I can still share everything with you guys um, and do what I love without it affecting my kids day to day life. I don't want you guys to panic. I'm still going to do day in the life videos. I'm still going to share with you guys the good and the bad. Um, I just have to be more aware I guess now that you know it's going to affect these little munchkins here. Um, because they are my number one priority. So uh, another thing that I do want to mention too is that if they don't want to be on the camera, they say so, right? Yes. If they don't want to be in the vlog that day, they tell me. If they don't want mommy to share it, I don't share it, right? Yes. Okay. And if, you know, they want me to remove a video later, I do. And that's been a big thing with Ethan lately. He's getting older and he is kind of more aware of what YouTube is. And that's happened probably about a year or two ago. He's asked me to remove all of the videos that I used to have up. And he has to kind of like approve the videos before I post them. And, you know, he has his say in what goes up with him and his self, just like Seth does. Um, Seth's more kind of open still to it. And Ethan has become more like, mm, no. So that's just kind of the route we're going right now in, in our world, in our life. And that is because Ethan's friends are finding out and, you know, P Ethan's realizing it more than um, I think Seth does. So uh, I just kind of wanted to put that out there for you guys. I had to take a moment to process all of this and figure out kind of how I wanted to continue forward. Let's not talk too much. I'm going to waste and put that money on me. Come and now follow my lead. Come and now follow my lead. Mm -hmm. We are on our way to Coupon. I am going to hit up Walgreens first 
And if I have time, I might go to CVS. I'm still going back and forth on a candy deal if I wanna do it now or if I wanna wait and see if there's a better deal later. I do wanna tackle Walgreens and then I do wanna stop over at Walmart and see if I can get um, any good deals over there along with possibly Dollar Tree. So those three stores are like my must go to this morning um, if I have time. I'm kind of racing the clock right now uh, because I have to go get Ethan when he gets out of school and I don't have a lot of time between the time Ethan, Seth gets out and Ethan gets out. So it's always one of those things where I just, I'm looking forward to the day when Seth goes to school all day. Um, I, I won't have to rush so much and I'm, I'll be able to get a lot more done in a day. Um, so we got done at Walgreens. I didn't film in there because that's one that I just really like to go to and I don't want to get kicked out of the store. <laughs> So I am going to um, run into Walmart because of course, as soon as we left uh, Walgreens, Seth says we have to pee. I have to pee, I have to pee. So we're gonna go in here, he's gonna go potty. I'm gonna see if there's any deals, clearance that I could put coupons to, you know, usual couponer thing to do. And then um, see about Dollar Tree and possibly CVS. Seth really wants to go because they have the little car, car carts and he loves those things. But yeah, we're gonna go in there. Um, I hit beauty today at Walgreens and I found out that I've got quite a few points. So yes, I'm excited about that, really excited. But I'll show you what I got when we get home. Okay, let's. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, so I am currently waiting on Ethan to get out of school, but I'm really excited because I was able to roll my ECBs, which is CVS's kind of register rewards, I guess, or points or however you want to look at it. Two different systems but anyway I got four dollars back in my extra care bucks and I spent two so yes socks on you can't have sweaty feet plus I got a 40% off one any single item so I might have to look at the Halloween stuff next week um, but yeah like I got a, I got quite a bit and then at the bottom it tells me how much I've saved so far this year and keep in mind, I've only been doing this since August, so in a month, I have saved $80.42. So, it's, I, I don't know. I used to be like full-on Walgreens, only Walgreens, and then um, I started shopping at CVS. Wow, this hair, what is this hair doing? Um, this <laughs> started shopping at CVS, and um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I love them both. I can't pick now. I'm at a point where I can't pick. Do I better pick? You're doing your special trick. Whoa. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> the twirly bar. I covered the tuba. The tuba? Yes. I covered the tuba. Okay, the tuba. Okay, you ready? No. You're gonna get dizzy. Okay. <laughs> I've got you set up here because I'm getting ready to haul everything that I got today. I decided to do these in two separate videos. So the one video is going to be Dollar Tree and Walmart and the other video will be CVS and Walgreens. That way, you know, you can kind of pick whether or not you wanna watch either one of those videos. Also, I tend to get a little chatty in these videos too. So. I'm just gonna separate them to keep them at a decent length and not take up a whole bunch of your time. I don't want 20 to 30 minute videos. I can't sit and watch them, so I'm assuming majority of you can't. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it for me today, guys. I have to get this haul done. I have to get dinner in the oven. I've got homework done, but I gotta get the dinner going. I've got to get baths running. I've got to get the kids in bed and then I'm crawling right into bed myself. I am exhausted. Don't worry guys, I will be back with more Day in the Life videos now that I've kind of wrapped my head around this whole situation. Um, but they, I'm warning you now, they might look like this a lot. Me just talking to the camera as I'm running around trying to juggle all the things that I need to juggle as a busy mom. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for me guys. Thank you so much again for 10,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Truly, truly awesome. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.